Christian Thomas. Uh, I was a government teacher, and then I did my degree in a U.S. Uh, uh, university. Girl, now this book, if you see, I have incorporated. Right. Let's talk about the book. First one is parts of speech. There are eight parts of speech that is needed in order to write a complete sentence. Right? Tell me, anyone, with which part of speech there is, can't we make a sentence without which? Which one is the most important one out of all of this? The subject. Uh, not the subject, baby girl. You can have a sentence without a subject. Yes, my love. Well done. How can you have a subject without a... How can you have a sentence that makes sense without a subject? Give me an example. What are you doing? Study. Understood, right? You don't, you don't have a subject there. Right? It's a complete sentence. Study. Instead of the I am, so what, are, what, are, uh, what are you eating? Rice. Complete sentence. Right? So that is, you need a verb. You need a verb is the most important. So we have subject, which is the noun, baby girls. Try to tell me without looking at the books. What are the others? We have a verb. Yes. Without looking at the book. Object. Pronoun. Well done. Adjectives. Interjections. Who tells interjections? Give me an example of interjection. Ah, that means you look at me. Huh? You look at it here. Interjections. Adverbs. Hmm? Now, now is there. Proverbs. Proverbs is not part of the speech, my darling. No, not to tell you. One, two, three, four, five, six. There should be two more. Conjunctions and prepositions. Conjunctions and prepositions. These are the eight parts. Now, in the first, I am doing the eight parts of speech. Along with this eight parts of speech, for they, you need an article. The boy, the is an article, right? That also helps us to formulate a complete sentence, right? Then I have words, regular words, irregular words, auxiliary words. I'll explain all of this when it comes to that, right? Then I have contractions, affirmative contractions, negative contractions. Then baby girl, we have active voice, passive, passive voice. Unit two is reading comprehension. When it come to this reading, now I am not completing the book page by page. Like today, I, that's why I asked you all to get the booklet itself. Today I might do page 5, tomorrow I might do page 80. It's like that, right? So when you have the booklet, it's easy. Uh, when it comes to this, what will happen is, when it comes to reading comprehension, is where I will encourage you reading. For example, you start reading, suddenly I'll ask him to stop and I will ask him to continue. Right? So that is where I will be correct, correcting your reading. Also, suddenly I might say, okay, fine. okay, forget it. Salim, come and talk about your day. You might have impromptu speeches. I don't mean to put you on the spot today. That's not my intention. My intention is very good. In English, darling, we don't have <clears throat> written English and spoken English. In Singhala, we have the Mama Nangiyami, Api Nangiyamu. There's a, uh, I, I, my old students know, I've told, I used to literally cry. I mean, literally cry in my Singhala period. Because I didn't understand anything what they said. Right? In English, we don't have that. I don't know how it is in Tamil. I guess Tamil also, they're spoken and written Tamil, right? I heard that written Tamil is very, very advanced and difficult. English baby girl, we don't have that. What we speak is what we write. Right? Therefore, I might have speech. So suddenly I said, okay, never mind, stop the work from there. Get up and come and talk about something. I am not going to penalize you, judge you, nothing. It's just that I want you all to speak proper English because we as Sri Lankans 
don't speak English the way it's supposed to be. Say water. It's not water. It's water. Work. Big work. So words like that, I'll correct you. Okay? And we said, yes, no? The head box? No? We do the wrong head box, right? So those kind of things. We, I mean, it's not because maybe all are studying the English medium. With the intention of continuing in the English medium and hopefully, fingers crossed, inshallah, going overseas one day. Right? So there you can't go and use uh, our beautiful Sri Lankan English. Right? So that is that, baby girls. After that, I have, what is this? Sentence corrections. Or common mistakes made by students. Synonyms and antonyms and fighting facts. Right? So that is the book. I will cover this book within five months. Uh, don't worry about it. The book looks a little bit uh, large, but it will be covered in five months. Right? Some of it may be, like for example, darling, in an exercise, if we do 10 in a class and there are 10 more, I might not finish the balance 10 for homework. It's like that. Right? It's just that I'm not, um, I can't, we might not be able to finish the full lesson. One more thing I have to tell you guys. Babies, if you all don't understand something, ask me a million times, I'll explain. I know it's an exaggeration, but you have to be present in class. Don't go on a trip for fancy trip and then come after like three weeks. Please, can you explain that? Obviously, no. I will explain it to you. I will explain it to you, but later on, not during the class. When I'm explaining something in the class, sweetheart, if you all don't understand, I'm not kidding you. You ask me a million times, I'll explain a million times until you get it properly. Okay? So I think enough chit chat. Let's do some work. No, it is. I'll send my phone around. Right? I want you all to save your numbers on my phone. Right? If you don't have, save your parents' number. But you need to have WhatsApp on that. Save you, I'll get online maybe I'll get your numbers when I come and sit here. What you have to do is now you're somewhere. Right? You save your name like this somewhere. Foundation. Go whoever. Because I have a foundation partner. So I can make a group and add you guys into that. Go whoever. Right? Save your name like this. Uh, my, if it gets locked, this is my password. I have nothing to hide. This is my phone password. If it gets locked, uh, unlock it and save you. Right? So I shall... Um, your number I already have now, Uncle. Save from here. Baby girls, you're okay so far? Yes? Anyone has any questions, any doubts? How come? How can I do, uh, how can I send this message? How can I have to ask the children? Right. Give me one minute, I'll send them the tilt because uh, uh, they won't know what I'm doing. Online, can you please put yours email addresses first? Yes, yes baby girl. I have a WhatsApp number, only for Eric Sari. Can you give me all of English to my number? I'm sorry, say that again? I you have my WhatsApp number in the O-level group 2025. I put it in the O-level 2025? Yeah. Not in the grade 8? Grade 8 is my younger brother. Oh, you're not sleep. No. What's your name? Sorry. I have come to your classroom. It's so dangerous. My God, you're a copy paste of Salim, no child. <laughs> 
You're a copy paste of Salim. I mean, a copy paste of Salim. There's no. So it's uh, Salim and you, is it? Wow. Uh, foundation booklet. Why don't I say search it? Online, so I'm foundation. Foundation booklet. Email addresses, right, got it. Give me a minute, darlings. It will be only for today, now that I have to send this to them. Just give me a minute. If not, they won't know what they are, what's happening, no baby. Uh, the student from Montlavenia, please come and uh, change your book. So only four of you have put your names and I'm sending it into four for sending it to the four of you only. Right, done, sent. Right, now I can concentrate on this. Online check, darlings. I've sent to whatever email address you all have sent. It's a large document, so it will take a little time. It's I think 80 something pages. All right, baby girls. Now we are going to do the first part of this. Which is nouns. How many kinds of nouns are there, Baba? Someone tell me. What are the four nouns? Could they? Okay. Hmm? No. Yes. Okay. How many kinds of nouns are there? How many, okay, what's the simple? What's the noun? Nay, what's simple as that? Right. How many kinds of nouns are there? Four. What are the four? What are the two? Proper noun? Proper noun is part of the Abstract noun, well done. There are two more no. Proper noun, abstract noun. Online, talk to me. Abstract noun, proper noun. Girl, boy, fruit, flower, what is that? Common noun. Common noun, thank you. There's one more noun. You have a proper noun. We want to something specific. For example, Sri Lanka. Right? Proper noun. Then you have a common noun. To unspecified things, right? Unspecific. Unspecific. Girl. Boy. Uh, fruit, flower. Right? So far, okay, baby girl? Yes? Third one is an abstract noun, like she said. Abstract noun are also known as stative verbs. I'll explain. I'll explain each noun, okay? Abstract nouns are words like love, hate, like, dislike, angry, Happy, those kind of words, okay? I'll explain each one. And the fourth one, baby, is a collective noun. Given for a group. Right? Like class, herd, audience. Right? Common noun. 
we all know common nouns anything for any any story. if i say give me a pen am i talking about a specific pen no i am not any pen would do if i said give me the am i talking about any pen or a specific pen the specific pen a specific pen so when you like for example say now uh, say Sh shahad right you are right Shahad has this, uh, we'll say this is Shahad's pen. And I love writing with this pen. Uh, for example, this um, cool kind of had a pen like that a few years back. They have this one pen. When you write, baby girl, the writing is awesome. Even if you make a mistake and you cut with, they have one this. So there was this boy here, his name was uh, Rizwa. I don't know whether he's there. The old cool planet. I don't like the new cool planet. I like the old cool planet. It was more friendly. So whenever they get this pen, my, my sons, when they were schooling, they loved that pen. So whenever that pen, they get the stock of that pen, this one will call and say, Miss Pen Hour. So I'll go and buy it. Whatever, 10, 15 pens for my children. And I love that pen as well. So now that is a pen or the pen? Okay. Like this. You all are waiting after school. Right, you are waiting after school in front of the, uh, okay, no, your parents are waiting for you after class here. Right? There are many parents down there. Do they become a parent or the parent to you? Is there many parents down there? A parent. A parent. Because they are not specific to you. You don't care about them. Understood with it, right? But when you see your mama or your dada, is it a parent or the parent? The parent. Understood with it. Specific, uh, so similarly for them. Now after classes, you will see um, the literally about 30, 40 children going down. So they are looking. Yeah, yeah. A child, a child, a child. Uh, the child is coming. Understood? Then it is a specific thing. A specific noun. So common nouns are for unspecified things. Proper noun is for specific. What's your name, my love? Sabrina. Sabrina. You are? Hmm? Asika. You? Shifa. Shifa. You are? Asika and Shifa. Are you Mariam's in the class? No? No Mariam in the class? Anyone who has the Mariam as a second name? Anyone? No? Alia? Mariam? No? Any Mohammed in the class who has Mohammed as a second name? You're Mohammed. You're Mohammed. First name is Mohammed. Nice. Now I'm going to, you're Mohammed 1, you're Mohammed 2. What? I'm going to show you proper nouns. Now we say common nouns are for common things. Now you can see in this same class we have two moms. Then how is Muhammad not a common noun? How is Muhammad the proper? Right? I'll show you how. You are Muhammad 1, you are Muhammad 2, remember? Okay? Muhammad 1, Muhammad 2. Muhammad 1, how old are you? 12. Muhammad 2? Muhammad 1, where do you live? Nehimal. Muhammad 2? Muhammad 1, how many members in your family? Don't give me grandmothers, grandfathers, mother, father and children. 4. Muhammad 2? 6. 6. Babies. Now can you see the difference? Same name. But there was never, there was never, there will never be another Muhammad like you. Why? Because everything is different. His date of birth is different, right? His life, now you will say twins then. Right? But the liking will be different. They, okay, the second twin is at least one second 
After the first three, something different. Right? That is why names are proper. That is why names are proper. Like my name is Shay, very common. Right? But they are never false. They are never going to be in another mission like me. That is one of the reasons for they, the letter I is also a proper noun. I. Not, not, not if you're talking like, not when you're writing like this or anything like this, when you're referring to yourself. I is a proper noun. Please make sure you write the capital I like this. Because I am unique. Right? There are never these, there never will be another I. Okay, so I is a proper noun. The reason I'm telling you this today is you know is when you go to your O levels today, these are very, very serious mistakes that children make, which they can't mask for. They are from proper noun, they always begin with a capital letter. Mohammed. Right? Not in a simple letter. Uh, common now, simple letter five. So far understood that to the girls. Let's go to the other one. Collective noun, and then I will explain abstract one. Collective noun is a noun. Now you are two, four, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16 and 5 is 21. You're not 21 in the class. You're not 21 in the class. Singular or plural? In the class? Singular. All of you all belong to one class. A, a collective noun. A class is a this is a class. A collective noun. There might be a hundred people, there might be one person, there might be two people, but you are grouped as a class. The uh, a herd of cows. Right? Now tell me this example. Think properly. A herd of cows. Is eating grass or are eating grass? Yes. yes. A herd of cows is eating grass or are eating grass? Yes. 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 Why is? Thank you. Wow, you are better than my own ever students. When will it become R? Then, when, then how will it be? Herds of cows. Herds, well done. It can be herds of cows. I have one group, one herd. Okay, let's take this example. Brown cows, one herd. White cows, one herd. Black cows, one herd. Uh, I don't know what to call them. Mm. Mixed colored, whatever. Multicolored cows, one herd. Right? Now, we are a black cows. Black, okay, we say black, I can't remember. The black cows, the herd, is grazing, is eating grass. One herd, two herds. Now this becomes plural. Two, two groups, no put them. Three herds, four herds. Now this becomes plural. They plural but The herds of cows are grazing. The herd of cows is grazing. The audience is clapping or the audience are clapping? It's clapping. It's clapping. It's clapping. Audience, again, a group very good. Right? So we are having a football match against uh, Vakala. Foundation, Kahuala is having against Foundation Vakala. Right? So you all are the audience of Foundation Kahuala. So you all are one group. You're one person, well, not one person, but one group. So the audience is clapping. Well, I'm clapping for your players. 
when it become when does it become audiences are say we are having kohuvala versus vaktala everything right so we have the grade 8 foundation one batch one audience uh, o level kohuvala one audience right uh, a level kohuvala one audience grade 6 7 kohuvala one audience then audience, 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 like the count. Then the audiences are clan. Understood, Pute? This is a very, very, very common mistake. That's why I've taken so many examples. The first thing that comes to your mind is the plural noun, right? Right? It's the first thing that comes to your mind, the plural noun. May be very, very sure that you use the singular if it's a collective noun. One, one collective. If there's an S, then take it again. If this is herds, classes, audiences, groups, uh, entourages, right? Then you have to put understood baby girls. Did you say your number? Babies, you're understood. So far, any doubts, any questions, anybody, please don't hesitate. Let me know because I want to do abstract now. So it's a little kind of difficult. That's what I want. So far understood common nouns, proper nouns, collective nouns. Anyone, any doubts, any questions? You're okay, sweetheart? You're okay? Right. Okay. Proper noun is some, for something specific. Common noun is for something unspecific. Right? I call you a boy. Common noun. What's your name? Is mine. I call you is mine. So long I did it. Okay, any of it. That's all right, baby. And then we today. Now we are going to abstract nouns. Concentrate abstract nouns. How many of you love chocolate? You don't? Seriously? Not even coffee? Oh, you're one. First time I found somebody like me. I hate chocolate. I hate coffee. I hate any product with cocoa. Not that I'm allergic, but I hate. But when I say that to you, how do you survive? Hey, I survive. So there's one person like me, another person. Right? Baby girl, now you see, 90% of you love chocolate. I hate chocolate. An abstract noun will change from person to person. What you love, I won't love. What I love, you won't love. That is an abstract noun. Love, hate, like. Right? How many of you like dry fish? None of you. I also not to like dry fish, but I can eat, I can, I can tolerate dry fish. How many of you like KFC? Hmm. Me. Why, why don't you all like KFC? Give me a reason. Why don't you like KFC? You like or don't like? Like. Uncle, you? Why don't you like KFC? Anyone? Who doesn't like that? I don't like KFC because of the oil. The oil factor, I don't like KFC. So can you see Puti? Right? How many of you love football? Oh, nice. I can see some girl hands going up. What are you? Girl boys in tough love you don't love football? <laughs> right? Right. See, a boy who doesn't love football. A rare species. Right? That is an abstract love. Right? You all did abstract arts, but they, when you are in the school, you all did abstract art for the art period. No. Can you remember? In school, you all are doing abstract arts. The teacher will give you, especially in small classes, the teacher will give you all a paper and say, draw whatever you want. So you will have the paper like this, you will draw this, or whatever like this, you will draw. Right? So for me, this looks like a piece of scribble. Somebody has scribbled, right? But somebody, right? Somebody who is like having 
No, you know, this child is having a lot of mental agony. So that is the way the child is showing the mental agony. Something will come out of it. Some story. Have spare cards. We all always agree that no, this is a garbage. No, 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 this child is coming from a broken family. So this child is trying to make connections. You know, they come up with something. That's true. Same way, there was this aunt a couple of years back. A couple of years back, there was this portrait. They began black canvas. Completely black canvas. And with one white dot in the middle. Guess how much it sold for? Thirty million dollars. This one I can make a million of this, but obviously nobody will buy it. <laughs> this sold obviously it has sold for the artist name as well. It's a very popular artist, but maybe you can see how easy it is, right? Thirty million dollars. This thing sold. Why? Because the person who bought it said abstract the paper. Okay, abstract now. The black background is our character dark, perverse. All the people are wicked. All the people are corrupted. All the people are waiting to put the other person on. You know, black, usually they say, right? This white spot is me trying to make a difference in this world. That is the justification the person who bought it came. Right? So when I read that, I was like, Bibi, you want to make a difference? Come and make pay Sri Lanka's loan. You'll make a difference now? 20 million people, right? Come and pay our IMS loan. But that is abstract. That's why I could say, we love certain people, we don't like other people. Abstract. You all understood the four nouns, please. Anyone who has any more doubts? Uncle, understood? The girls understood? Right. Can you all do the first exercise, please? It's on page four. Do the first five, please. We will correct that and move on to the next. Online, are you all okay, babies? Any questions? Online baby girls, any questions, please talk to me. Oh, there's a new student who has come. Octavia, I like your name. Octavia, do you have the uh, uh, book, Octavia? No, ma'am, I don't have the book. You just joined, no, baby girl? Yes. Could you please put your email address? I'll put it for you, but you'll have to come and get a physical book put there because the page numbers will change, darling. Oh, put your email address yeah, fast, please. But I'm in Dubai, ma'am. I know, in Dubai. All right. Okay, sweetie. Uh, put your email address. I'll send you the book. Okay. But be, uh, when I say page four, sweetheart, it might not be in page four specifically. You will have to do mm -hmm. a little searching, okay? Oh, okay, ma'am. Okay. okay. Send, put your email address fast, darling, in this chat. Others online, you all got the book, right? Octavia, put your email address fast, sweetheart. Thank you. Octavia, in which school in Dubai are you studying at? I'm studying at an online school, K-12. All right. First five done, baby girls. All right. Only the first five put there. Yes, the first five. Underline the nouns in the following sentences. What did you do? I told you, you know, page four also. Octavia sent it. It might probably take a few more minutes because uh, uh, it's a long document. Uh, Pute, can your online students, can you all please put your numbers so I can add you all on to the group? Okay. 
Shall we correct? Mohammed one. Give me the nouns in the first sentence. Hmm? Well done. House and Africa. Uh, Samuel, second one. No, incorrect. Second one, what are the nouns? Yes. Car and do. Well done. Right. Third one. Samuel, try this. The kite is in the air. Well done. There you go. Kite and air. Ah, okay. Fourth one, kite and air. Okay. Thank you. Right. Third one. When will the bus arrive, baby girl, you? Bus. Only bus. Right. Sweetie, you? Yesterday was the coldest day of the year. Ah, you? Coldest? No. Cool. What are the nouns in that? You? Day. There's more. Year. Well done. Day, year, yesterday. Right? Now do the other five also, please. Fast. Take two, three minutes and do. Don't waste time. Nine, five, two. Seven, five, nine, eight. Nine five two seven five nine eight from the end. Hmm. What, my darling? What count as nouns, baby girl? Yes, baby girl. Proper nouns, no putte? Yes, my love. One come first. Tell me when you all are done. So I got Octavia, I got Amrin. Uh, Randira, you want your number or your mother's number? Putte, because I can add only one number, baby girl. Tell me which number to add. Uh, my mother. Mother's number. But tell your mother you'll get a lot of There'll be a lot of messages. Huh? Is she all right? Yeah, she's fine. All right. I'll do the 071. Guys, you all finished, Pute? Right. Tell me when you all are done, babies. You're done. done Who's the last one? Samuel. Okay, tell me when you're done, Samuel. And then, Deneti. Five and seven. Five, one, seven, four, three, two, one. They need tea. It's a difficult name for me to say. They need tea. Some of you all's names, I'll make mistakes. Please forgive me. Until I get to know you all. There's one more name. I'll add that also. Then I'm done. Okay. Sixth one. Doesn't matter. I can do. Uh, baby girl, you. Sixth one. You made a mistake. Happiness. Well done. Thank you. What are you? Seventh one? Tim, Joe, Anton, correct? After that? Friends. No. no my is a pronoun. Friends. Friend. Best is a what? Adjective. Adjective. Right. Uh, what are you? The girl behind her? Eighth one, I will ask you all also online. Evolution is part of nature? Uh, nature. And? Evolution. And evolution. Bye-bye, you ninth one, baby girl.
brother and uh, major, then there's a lot in that. Baseball, yeah. player, there's another one. Yeah. League. Mm -hmm. Okay. League is also a noun in that. Brother, major league, baseball. Brother, major league, baseball player. Correct. Suleiman too. What's the answer for the tenth one? Go is a verb, no baby girl. Time. Correct. Hmm. Correct. Now for homework, you will finish this three sentences. You will write sentences on your own. So next time when you all are working, I will walk around and correct it. Right? That is done. Yes, baby girl. You need a writing book. Yes. You will need a writing book. No, my darling, write it here. Right? Because when you all are, this, whatever you all write here, while you all are walking around, I'll correct it. A CR book is better. Because you'll have to write your essays and all in a book. Usually, I tell my students to bring in papers, but I don't want you all having papers because that will go to the cuddle man after that, <laughs> and then that is not there. Right. Okay. Shall we do one more? I know it's 12.25, but since we took a lot of time for intros and all, shall we do at least one more exercise from this, please? Sure. So, this babies, you all have to finish this three. Mark it, darling. Anne, please do the homework. Right? This three you'll have to do for homework. So now we're not going to do parts of speech. Yes, my love. I'm not going to do articles either. I was going to do... Hmm? Hmm? 1225, right? Time is now. Time is a, Yes, in the tenth one. Yes, my love. No, the time is at two o'clock. It's now. Yes. Yes. Happening to you. Okay. Never mind. Oh. Right. Go to unit three. Sentence correction. Page sixty nine. Page sixty nine. You need three sentence correction. Maybe have a bookmark put there. It's easy. You all know a bookmark, right? Have a bookmark. It's easy then. I also should put a bookmark. Page 69, sentence correction. Hmm? Hmm. The correct answer to any of our sentence correction questions will have all of the four following characteristics, right? No grammatical mistakes. Any sentence should have, maybe, now whether you're going to do Cambridge or Excel put in. In your writing, I'll remind me to show you all that. No, I'll actually show you all that now. Not remind me. Let me do that now. Maybe is when you all write an essay, there, there's two ways, darling, that you get the marks. Okay. Say, for example, it's 30 marks. The question carries 30 marks. Right? That 30 marks, Baba, will be divided this way. Right? One for coherence. Coherence means ability to read, which means handwriting, presentation, all that, and understand. Have you used the correct word? Right? That is coherence. Second is task. Completion. Task completion means to take. If it's a if it's a story, have you written a story? Do you have a beginning? Do you have an ending? Right? Is the task completed? So this is 15 marks here to take. For this two. On the other hand, here, Papa, we have five things. One is paragraphing. I will change the teacher all of those later. How? Whether your paragraphing is correct. In between, say for example, you're going to buy, um, you're going down to someone of the sea and you're getting an egg roll. You're asking for an egg roll. 
but inside the egg roll you get you get egg right and then next um, instead of the onions and all there is jam can eat no so that can eat no can eat so that is what paragraphing is about in the egg roll um, par paragraph do you have only the egg roll sentences you all understood for them right or you're going and asking them a um, cup of coffee but when you taste in between the coffee you can just find out also right can drink no some people can actually i have my uncle okay. i always have small small story times my um, mother's younger sister's sister is about 75 something his favorite food that is the more people know his favorite food is your know, kibla bani so sugar bani so whatever that with spicy chicken curry and curry sauce he dips the kibla bani in the chicken curry and he eats that's his favorite food right it's very unedible it sounds very unedible for us right but then one of my students said this what is that my father uh, in the one of my small classes eats uh gelo rice with gulab jamun and chicken curry i said okay was he in the gelo rice and chicken curry and they need the gulab jamun no miss into the plate he put the gulab jamun he put the honey of the gulab jamun and put the chicken curry so baby girl you all say it can't be like that okay it has to be palatable right so that is paragraphing babies the next one is sentence structure are your sentences written properly now words all those phrases your sentences written properly next one is spelling now well, this is covering spelling correct spelling have you used the correct spelling next one is grammar and vocabulary have you used the correct vocabulary right for a student of your age or do you have my name is mohammed i am a boy i live in delhi i have four members that vocabulary goes up you all know put there that is grade 1 and 2 the teacher will say well done papa do another one but now obviously not right same thing grammar right the last one baby girl is punctuation i will teach you all those also later have you used the correct punctuation just imagine okay there is no punctuation marks just imagine capital is also punctuation marks okay let me show you something let me write something try and read it okay it's going to be difficult for me also let's try Try and read it, okay? No punctuations. You need to notice more in the glass. It gives space. No capital star, put a full stop there. No, no punctuation. Just imagine I'm writing a whole essay like this. Hi, you, that was a new. Have to be in Angola, right? When you read that, when you find the time you ah, so that is the other one is punctuation, right? So the reason we are doing this sentence correction today so that there will be no grammatical mistakes. Correct sentence structure, right? No spelling errors and no changes to the sentence intended meaning. 
A common fallacy, fallacy means problem. I'm still on page 69. A common fallacy, that fallacy means problem today, that test takers fall into is to find one error and then quickly choose the answer that corrects that mistake without considering whether there are any other errors, errors in the sentence that an alternate answer choice might also be. When we read the sentence, when we find one mistake, we harp on that mistake. That mistake might be minor, might be small. Look for the other major mistakes. Okay. The correct must answer uh, must correct all of the errors in the text. Employ process of elimination. Is this correct? No, this is correct. No, this is correct. Okay. Which one suits best? All right. You can also eliminate any choice that alter the intended meaning. Like for example, if I say today, uh, you have to protect the environment. Is that a proper sentence? You have to protect the environment. It's a grammatically correct sentence. But is the meaning proper? Why? What doesn't it answer? Um. Thank you. It doesn't answer how. You have to you have to protect the environment by not killing yourself. You understood the thing, right? You have to protect the environment by not throwing garbage on the floor. By planting trees. Now that is a correct sentence. Right? That is what I mean by that. Do not worry about spelling or capitalization errors. If you do not worry about spelling or capitalization errors. Then again, that's an issue, right? When in doubt, look for subtle differences among the different choices, right? Then this technique can also help. Now let's look. Jim Rosario's husband is a nice man. First one, what are the mistakes? Maybe because I'm on page 70 online. <coughs> Jim Rosario's husband is a nice man. What is wrong in that? There's something wrong in that. There should be a apostrophe uh, in Rosario's before. Well done. How will we write that? Start writing capital J, Jim. Cap start writing capital J, Jim. Right? Then Rosario. Don't write, don't write the S. Rosario. Right after Rosario. Apostrophe S. You all know what's an apostrophe, right? Anyone who doesn't know, put your hands up. No issue. You don't know what apostrophe is like this. Okay. Thank you, darling. If you don't know that apostrophe is this. Performance. This is an apostrophe. Right? You show position. Jim Rosario's husband is a nice man. Full stop. Let's do the second one also together. What time we going to go to the mall? Tell me, how should it be? What time are we what going to? What time are we going to go going to the mall? What time are we going to the mall? Can I please ask you all to finish that up to the 10th question? Only this page, page 70, right? You all have eight more to do. Right? Now, what I want you all to do is this time's homework is in the last pages. I told you I'll give you all an essay. No, I'm not going to give you all that. I'll give you all an essay. Write your essay, copy it down. No, write a wherever, write an essay, talk, write with a pencil or whatever. If you don't have a if you don't have a notebook, write uh, in the pencil so that you can go and copy into a notebook. Write a story. Write a story 
one line. You all have my email address because I sent the tunes to you all. So you all have to send it to me by email. But please make sure you put your name on the paper you are writing the essay. On the paper you are, and I want handwritten essays, not typed. On the paper you are writing the essay, for example, write Deneti and within brackets, write foundation Kohua because I have really, I have more than 400 students. So I won't know who Deneti is. Understood? Put Deneti, for example, Deneti within brackets, uh, ko, foundation Kohua. Then I know you belong to that group. Okay, but I want handwritten, I don't want typed. Write a story. Write a story where a prank. You all know what's a prank, right? Where, write a story where a prank goes wrong. Okay? Anyone who doesn't understand the topic? You all understand the topic, right? So, anyone? You all, all know what's a prank, right? Make it. So that is your homework. Please do your homework and bring it next week. Okay? Yes. So you all have two, you all have three homeworks now. You'll have to complete the nouns. You'll have to complete this uh, sentence correction. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How many words? Uh, minimum 300. But uh, like I told you, if you can't write 300 words, that's all right. Write what you can. Maximum you can write a million. No problem. Yeah, in a book, my darling. In your second. Get a book and bring it because I don't want you to keep papers. Online paper girls, since you all are going to send me by uh, email, please make sure you find it. Because in your book, when you give me your book, it can take me some time to return it back to you all. Uh, I think you will find the positive and the negative points of your writing. So I want you all to eradicate the negatives and focus more on the positives. All right. All right, my baby girls. I'll see you all next week, inshallah. God bless you all. Be good. Bye.